<laughs> so everyone, this is how to make an overpowered skin. <laughs> so first, you want to obviously go to hmm, where is it? Either one of these you can pick, the owl hat or the mad scientist hair, whatever it's called. These are both really overpowered hats. Any other thing, any other hat is not more overpowered than this. So for the sake of the video, I'm gonna pick the um, owl hat. And um, I say the best face pieces is either the scuba mask or the sunglasses and the um, doctor mask or the sunglasses and the face mask. Um, for this video, I'm for right now. I'm gonna wear um, uh, where is it? And this you can tint it however, you, how much ever you want. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna tint it all the way. You don't have to. It doesn't affect your skin at all. But um, yeah, I just want to tint it all the way because it looks cooler. For well, in my opinion. <laughs> and um, for shirts, it doesn't really matter whatever whatever shirt you have, as long as it doesn't take away the pants. See, like, this suit slash shirt takes away the pants, we don't want that. Well, some, well, mo like, some overpowered skins can not have pants and be overpowered. But, um, for the sake of this video, well, <laughs> not for the sake of this video, um, you, like, you need pants, because it also helps with the drop kick. Um... This is, and, um, where is it? So this suit, and, um, this one, and, uh, this shirt, all are very good, because, um, one, they look very drippy and cool, uh, when it's tinted, uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, I think it does affect your skin, and uh, like I think it does like affect your skin a bit, <laughs> not in a bad way, in a good way. So I'm just gonna wear this one, and um, I not recommend putting on a cape unless you want no one to grab you, or I would not recommend putting on this unless you want um, unless you want to prevent um headbutts from the back. But if you want the most overpowered skin, you can either wear those gloves that I just showed you and tint them or you can wear these white ones and um, I personally think um, these look more like matching with skin so I'm gonna wear these and um, for the pants obviously you don't have to wear pants but to, for it to be an overpowered skin but I am um, you can wear like almost any pants except for these border ones I don't like these like are very fat and everything but yeah, you can almost wear any pants. Um, this one, this one's very good for drop kicks. Uh, and the rest of the skin is very good because it doesn't make your skin as heavy. And also, um, it just like, it uh, looks kind of cool. And also, and, um, I think it like, you can fly like, I think maybe, maybe a bit further when you do drop kicks, I don't know though. And also, um, yeah, you can basically do any pants, but um, these are <laughs> these are really good pants as well. But um, I'm gonna do these ones. Uh, but you can do any, except for those builder ones, those and like this one because you basically have no pants. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you can basically wear any pants. So that's uh the skin, and uh, that's how to make the skin, or. Um, you don't have to make exactly like that. Make it exactly like this. You can, um, sh like, example, like, you can do the scuba mask because that's another option. Um, but any of the other options, like in the shirts as well, uh, you can choose. So, but I'm just gonna use this. So now I'm gonna go into waves and test it because none of my friends wanna help me. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoops. Not the section I want to be in. Come on, hurry up. Sorry about this. Come on, hurry up. There we go. 
So if you want to practice some ways by yourself, you can obviously just go into local. Oh uh, no, where's the skin? See how my skins have like the mad scientist hair and the um or most of them have a uh, and the uh, owl hat. That's because they're well, like I told you earlier, the best skins in the game. I mean hats in the game. So now I'm gonna test this in waves and I uh, can show you how good it is. This isn't, it, it could be the most overpowered skin I've made, but um, I've made a lot of others, so it doesn't, it doesn't look like, like personally the best for me, in my opinion, but it does look like um, uh, it can uh, do some damage, you know. So yeah, let me just get rid of you. Not you, I don't wanna get rid of you. No. Move. Move. Come over here. You die. Come on. Oh my gosh. Move. This is very annoying. I need you <laughs> to die. Thank you. And um, since I'm about to teach you something very useful, this is gonna kind of be like two tips in one. So there's this thing called the Giga Throw, and you can um, uh, you can make people go very far with it. So this is kind of like two tips in one. I'm showing you how to make an overpowered skin. I'm also showing you how to do it like a really overpowered move. So what you want to do? I've got my little uh, test dummy here. Uh, this is basically what it looks like in action. Kind of messed it up there. That's basically what it looks like in action. Yeah. Uh, let me just knock him out again in case you didn't see. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was, the fact that that was only a headbutt shows how good the skin is. Oh, whoops, I don't know why I jumped off. Uh, see, uh, so that's the that's the um, reward for making overpowered skins. You can do that. <laughs> Even to players. But, um, yeah, but now I'm, uh, I'm just going to go back in because I accidentally jumped off. Well, not accident, on accident. I didn't know Wave 2 was going to spawn that fast. But, um, yeah, so now I'm going to teach you how to do the Giga Throw. So this is, like, two tips in one, but I'm just going to, but the title of the video is just going to be, um, how to do, how to make overpowered skins in Gang Beasts, obviously. I'm getting knocked out by some stupid little waves. Stupid little wave people. Made out of beef. But I can't say anything. I'm made out of beef. Come here. I might need to knock her out a couple times because she's gonna wake up decently fast. So I'm gonna knock her out again. See how far I just flew with her? But um, yeah. So now I'm gonna teach you how to do the throw. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a good grip on them. Stop waking up, you freaking stupid test dummy. Hmm. Come over here. So what you wanna do is you wanna pick them up, either on the chest or the back, and get a good grip. Lift them up, and then, like, hold on. I'm not the best at it yet, so I might not be able to do it, like, consistently. But that is okay. If you if you don't get it, like, second or first try. Or third. So, yeah, you want to get a good grip on them. I personally favorite the back. And then you want to lift them up, and you want to headbutt them. We want to do that all in a fast motion. And there's also this thing called um, the dolphin dive, which is even better, can send people further. See, that was um, called the headbutt throw, um, uh, which is different to the Giga throw, but it does, like, it looks the same. It's kind of the downgrade from the Giga throw for me. So, uh, yeah, let me just uh, show you again, in case you weren't here. So, yeah, you want to get a tight grip on them, and you want to lift them up, and then headbutt them. Uh, you want to... Uh, so, People might get confused by this, but um, uh, people might be asking in their mind right now, do you headbutt after you let them go or while you're letting them go and then let them go immediately? The answer to that question is you wanna headbutt while you're still holding them and then immediately let go. Cause um, one, if, if you do um, the other thing, uh, uh, head, uh, let go then headbutt, let go then headbutt uh it'll drop your hands like it'll drop your hands and then it'll drop them and then you won't get it very good and then you won't get it very far 
So yeah, that's why you um, don't do the uh, everything that I just said. Oh, so yeah, you want to get a good grip on them, and then, mm -hmm. and then uh, not on the arms because uh, you can pick them up very. Uh, see, like that, like that. That's what the advantage of the Giga Throw does if you get it right. Sometimes it doesn't send them that far, but I've sent people flying with it. And you can also do the jumping technique, which is basically just the thing I, which is basically what I just taught you, but you're adding a jump to it, like this. I'm not, I'm, I don't personally favorite that one. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's good. It's uh, also good as well. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the video, guys. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. And uh, see you on the next one.